Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying to get you can be a new eyeshadow palette which is called the Abstraction Eyeshadow Palette. So this is a 72 pan eyeshadow palette. To say it's epically huge is kind of an understatement. So this is what the palette looks like. I really like how they have kept the product design consistent with the theme of the palette and the name of the palette, which is Abstraction. We have a beautiful, colourful, abstract uh, picture on the front, which I really, really do like. And inside, if we open up the beast, we have <gasps> the shades. Wow, so we. I mean, guys. I, I must say, like, I do definitely feel quite overwhelmed here because there's so many shades, but I can't help but just be entranced by it because it's so colourful, it's so beautiful, and I actually think that Abstraction is the perfect name for this palette because these colours are all over the place. I mean, you know, you can't really look at these colours and think of, like, a theme. I mean, I finding it difficult to even look at these colours and come up with any ideas for what kind of cohesive look I can create but I mean it's definitely like a lot like there's a lot going on within this palette but I am a huge fan of colour I'm a huge fan of experimenting and playing around with um you know different different shades and different kind of looks so I actually think that this palette is really really exciting to get stuck into when I first looked at this palette it made me kind of think of like a box of sweets because you've got these multi-tonal uh, kind of shimmer shadows they just look like mint humbugs and it just kind of reminds me of my childhood a bit so there's like a nostalgic element that I'm getting from this palette that I really do like it's just very fun very carefree very kind of colourful it's like a happy palette and I think I could only create a bright colourful vibrant happy look with this palette I would definitely not recommend this palette if you're a fan of like neutrals or just like everyday wearable looks because this is the farthest thing from that also just to mention that we do have a few different uh, formulas within the palette we've got mattes we've got metallics we've got pressed glitters and we've also got these multi-tonal uh, metallics so i mean there's so much going on in this palette the only thing that i would say if i were to give any criticisms at all is that i wish that there were maybe a couple more shades of pink in here and maybe like a really vibrant neon orange i think that that would just give me everything that I would ever need and more. So this palette costs £10. You can be did very kindly send me this so that I could review it. So I just want to say thank you to You Can Be, but if the palette's shit, you know I'm going to let you know it's shit. So with all that being said, I'm going to jump right into this palette. I'm going to create some kind of juicy, fun, colourful eye look. And then at the end of the video, I will give you my thoughts on whether I like the palette and if I would recommend it. Also, I've worn my summery earrings today because of the sun it is out and I'm just I can just smell summer in the air I've got my ombre fluffy scrunchie I've got my summer tassel earrings I've got just like my pink top that I mean honestly I've worn this for days I've slept in it for days she's got stains on her but she's so comfy you know that kind of unique comfiness that clothes will only get after you've worn them for like five days straight i've definitely kind of i'm in that place now with this top without further ado i'm actually gonna get stuck in now okay so as always i'm gonna go in with my eye base this is the tone activator by Kaleidos makeup this is my absolute favorite eye base i use it every single time i put any eyeshadows on my eyes and i know that some people get annoyed you know if you use like an eye primer or an eye base when trying out an eyeshadow palette for the first time like as a review and i completely understand where people are coming from with that but for me it would be stranger to not use this because i use it every single day and i, and I, it, I feel like i wouldn't be able to give like a consistent review to my other reviews because in every other review I've done in the past 12 months I've used this so I do completely understand I hope that no one's nobody's annoyed that I am using it but for me it's just like that's just like normality for me it'd be kind of like if I suddenly started reviewing 
eyeshadow palette is on my left bum cheek, I would, you know, struggle with that because I'd be like, well, I've always just reviewed eyeshadow palettes on my, my eyelids before. Okay, so we are ready to begin and I have absolutely no idea which shade I'm going to go in with first because there's so many. I know that in the past I have definitely said that these larger palettes intimidate me and overwhelm me and this is certainly no different. I do definitely prefer a smaller palette and I, like I just think that this is like they've thrown every single colour they can really think of apart from pinks and oranges at the palette and they've just said right good luck with that yeah have fun and I'm just sat over here like what the feck do I choose? I mean I did say to myself last night when I was thinking about what kind of look I was going to create today I was thinking I was going to create like a purpley blue kind of look just because I really wanted to make sure that I just finished off clashing with everything else that I've got going on today. I I just knew I couldn't try and match anything up on my person. So I'm actually going to begin the look today with uh, this very light lavender shade and then I'm going to jump into the indigo shade. I I've got very low expectations of that. I know I shouldn't say that. I know that's so pessimistic of me. I know. But yeah, I just got a feeling this one may not be so good. So we'll probably be closely following it up with the indigo. And like literally, guys, I know I should not say that because I've been, been very pessimistic and judgmental. But like I have found that with these larger palettes, the it's kind of like quantity over quality, you know? And I hope that that's not the case with this palette, but like I would much rather pay 10 pounds, the same price as this costs, but have less shades, but much better quality, than have like a massive palette with shit tons of shades and pay 10 pounds, but the quality is not as good because then it's just a waste and you're never gonna reach for it. So anyway, guys, we're gonna start off with these two uh, kind of, purpley shades. I wish it could stand up, you know, like that. And I could just like dip in like it was an easel and like I was like a painter or something. I could just be dipping in and pointing. Okay, we're going to go in with this one next, guys. That would have just looked so professional. But I wonder if, I mean, I don't want to damage my cacti here, but oh, no, it's not, not going to work, guys. Okay, I tried to improvise and it did not work. So I'm just going to pop her there. Okay, guys, let's do, oh, oh my gosh, do you know what? I've just realised I didn't do any swatches and I definitely was not intending to swatch, you know, all of the 72 shades, but I am going to swatch a bunch of them. So I'll do that at the end of the video and hopefully I remember to cut that in. Hopefully. If not, I'll just cut it in now. Actually, I'm going to cut it in now because I know I'm, yeah, just cut it in now. Okay, so I hope that those swatches were bombed a kitty down. Finally, we're going to jump into the look. Okay, so we have the extremely light lavender shade. And I'm just going to be popping that all around my crease. Yeah, and as I suspected, I cannot see anything. Like, there's nothing there. Let me just grab a little bit more. Like, you can definitely see her on my brush. I'm not going to tap her off because I need all of the pigment that I can possibly get. So I'm just going to, like, I'm going to press, 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 press her into the skin. Like, I think this is one of those shades that you cannot even attempt to blend because you're just going to lose you're going to lose all of the pigment. And, like, even now after I've kind of pressed it in, you can't really see her. So, you know what? Life's too short. I'm going to move right on. We're going to go in with the indigo shade. Okay, so this is the indigo shade. Again, I'm not going to tap her off because I don't want to lose any of the pigment. 
Okay, so this one definitely has come to town, like we can see her, which is wonderful. I think the shade is so beautiful, very cool tone, very subtle, whimsical. I like it. But you know one thing I'm noticing, it does seem to have a slight bit of a sheen to it, whereas in the pan, like it looks like a matte. But on the lid, can you see that? It looks quite sheeny. So that's the surprise. I wish there were more surprises in life, honestly. But I just find that, especially as you get older, everything is so predictable. Okay, so I really, really like this. I am going to be taking it all the way up to my brow. That's my new thing recently. I just, I've started taking my transition shade, you know, like the first shade that I apply. I've just started taking it all the way up to my brow because I have got kind of hooded eyes. So when you look at me face on, most of my lid has just like, it disappeared. It's just like, see you later, bye. So I like to just pretend that all of this space up to my brow bone is my eye. I want you to see my hard work, basically. So guys, I'm liking that. Okay. Mm. Okay, so next we are gonna go in with a blue. And oh, do you know what? I really want to go in with this shade here because it's not like a true blue and it's not purple. It's somewhere in the middle and it's definitely, it's more blue than purple, but I really, really like it. Oh, do you know what? I've just realised though, before we go in with the beautiful kind of hybrid blue purple, I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is kind of like a, it's like a cornflower blue. It seems really dark in here today and I don't know why, because the sun is out. And so I don't know why it's so dark. I do apologise for that. I hope you can see everything okay. Again, this one looks to have a bit of a sheen to it, which is strange. Maybe these are like satins, but because the pans are so small, they just come off looking like mats. I just don't know, but I mean, I like it. Blending out nicely. We've got a good amount of pigmentation for how light and kind of pastel-y the shade is. I just can't get over the whole satin look though, because it is definitely making my eye look a bit strange because I mean, just to see like mats up there and the fact that this is like a little bit sheeny is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the beautiful kind of purple blue hybrid. This is what she looks like on the brush. I'm going to tap her off because I feel like she may actually be quite pigmented. No, she's not. She's not. I thought she was, but she ain't. She just ain't. So well, let me just put a little bit more on. Yeah, I think I'm kind of, I'm losing her in amongst everything else. So well, I think I need to go in like a, with a deeper, deeper, deeper shade. And I also think I'm gonna go in with my cheek guards because I really wanna create quite a definition you know, at the sides. So yeah, I'm gonna pop some cheek guards on. Okay, so I want to go in with some purple just to try and build the look up a little bit. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to go in with this shade, but it's more of a maroon than purple. I feel like you cannot see any of these shades I'm holding up. And I got this new ring light and I'm just thinking, is it this shit really, is it? Is this the best it can actually do? Like, can you see them better now? No. No. Like, why do it look so dark in here? Do you know what, Fecky? I'm just gonna go in with this shade here, which is like a purple, a deep, the deepest purple in the palette. I'm gonna get another ring light on this. I can't do it. Okay, so I'm gonna pop my other ring light in on the job because I, I'm just thinking you can't see anything here. Can you see a bit better now? I really hope so. I'm really sorry guys, like if you cannot see, I'm so disappointed. But okay, anyway, we're gonna go in with this shade here, which is the deepest purple in the palette. <sighs> oh. 
I don't like it. I don't, guys. Do you know what? I'm finding this palette quite tricky because none of the shades are giving me anything. They're so underwhelming, so non-pigmented. I am losing all of the excitement that I initially had about trying out this palette. I'm just losing the enthusiasm, the energy, the excitement because every single fecking shadow I'm picking up is just coming off so underwhelming on my lid and I'm just finding this a struggle if I'm being honest but do you know what, I am going to carry on, I've just had a bit of a meltdown, I'm going to carry on but just my honest thoughts so far at this point in time Every single one of these shadows that I'm picking up in the hope that it's going to be better than the last and give me more than the last is just as shit as the previous one. I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. I mean, I don't know how I'm even going to replicate this shit show over on this side because I forgot which shades I've actually used at this point because they're all just blending into one another at this point. But you know what? It's fine. I'm going to go in with this shade here which is a true kind of royal purple shade. Can you see, I'm just kind of, oh, I feel like you can actually see my energy just like draining out of me. Anyway, we're gonna go in with this, guys. I'm just gonna like pack it on. Pack, pack, pack. So shit. It's so shit. I'm just not getting anything. Do you know what? I'm getting to the point where I just want to pop a shimmer on and just call it a day. Like, really. But let me just try it again. I'm just going to pack more. Pack, pack. Pack, pack, pack. These shadows just look like really cheap eyeshadows. Like, really cheap eyeshadows. I'm not loving this in any way. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep packing on this purple. I'm going to do the other eye. And then we're just going to go straight in with a shimmer. Because I'm just not having fun with this at all. It looks really patchy up there. The blues, the lavender, the indigo, this purple. They're all just kind of like blending into one another. I mean, I could have just gone in with this purple and not bothered with all the rest of the shades I used. And I would have had the same result because the other shades have just disappeared. Guys, you know it's a bad palette where you just have to basically stamp on each and every shade onto your lid to actually get any pigmentation. Oh, if I wasn't filming a review, I would have definitely have given up with this palette at this point because I've definitely got the measure of it. It's just really poor quality and it, it's disappointing to see this kind of palette coming from you can be because I just don't know why they couldn't have made a smaller palette with less shades but with their usual quality because I have to say in all honesty this is one of the shittiest formulas quality palettes that's come from you can be that I've ever tried honestly this is piss poor it's so bad it's so bad like i love makeup because i can just have fun i can just play around get creative but this palette is it's just not fun it's just not a fun one to to work with because none of the shades actually give you anything and if say if i hadn't tried any other you can be eyeshadow palettes i'd probably just be thinking oh well this brand's shit but I'm even more pissed off because I know how good you can be are usually and this is just like a real step down for them it's just this is so hideously bad like so bad like at this point guys I definitely cannot be recommending this palette to anyone because I just don't think that this is it this is not it I feel like I've just come from the 80s and I love the 80s but this is kind of eyeshadow formula and quality that we had in the 80s. You know, it's kind of like kids makeup quality. That's how I could best describe it. 
And I know I sound like a right bitch right now, but, you know, if I'm not going to be reviewing makeup honestly from my heart, then what is the point? Well, like, what's the point of me being here? You know what I mean? This, like, this is shit. This is so bad. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off with the purple that I was hoping would save the day, but really is not. Do you know what? It's not looking too bad. Like, if I always do like to take some responsibility for, you know, when a look isn't necessarily going the way that I want it to go. Like, I'm the first person who will hold their hands up and say, yeah, do you know what? I'm quite shit at makeup, actually. So... You know, it's just me, my poor technique. I have no skill. So I'm always very quick to do that. And I know when it's my fault. And I'll admit to that every time. But with this palette, I like the formula is just so poor. It's so poor. Like you wouldn't have thought I packed on like seven different shades, would you, on my lids? You just would have thought, oh, she packed on a bit of purple there. Hmm, yeah. Oh, guys, I feel like Pat Butcher from EastEnders, and I know that probably only the UK viewers will get that, but I, like, I actually feel like Pat Butcher right now. I'm just going to go in with a cut crease in a minute. I'm going to bang on a shimmer, and I'm going to call it a day, is what's happening, guys. And it's so patchy. Can you see how patchy it is down there? It's just so shit. Oh, guys, this was a actual shit show. Do you know what? I'm going to put glitter on. Glitter, glitter, glitter saves the day. All day, every day. So I'm going to pop a little bit of Consquila, as Pop Looks would say, and I love it. So I'm popping this super, like, it's basically stark white uh, concealer by Makeup Revolution. It's the classic conceal and define. So I'm just gonna grab a brush and I'm just gonna create a cut crease with this. And then we are going to go in with some glitter and we're just gonna hope that glitter saves the day. Okay, so I've created half of a cut crease. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, this glittery shade, it's kind of pink, it's purple it's green it's blue it's mm, there's a lot of different shades going on in here kind of like the palette at large so i'm going to just be popping this on my lid just over where i've applied the consquila can you tell guys like this is just me thoroughly drained of it, energy and enthusiasm i didn't have the hugest expectations for the palette just because it is one of these like mega palettes but I expected a lot better because it's from You Can Be. And I, and I do, you know, I've come to respect You Can Be. I've, you know, I've come to expect a lot from You Can Be. It's a compliment to them because I know that generally their products are really, really good. Not this though, not this. Okay, so there we go. The glitter is on. And I, do you know what? The glitter's pretty. You can't really go wrong with glitter, can you? I mean, glitter from... Pat McGrath is probably going to be very similar to glitter from more affordable brands like you can be, just in different packaging. Okay, so the glitter's on. There we go, that's on. In retrospect, I probably should have gone in with a shimmer under the glitter, but I didn't. And it's too late now so yeah that's not happening guys so i'm just gonna go in with glitter on the other side i'm so sorry guys i know that this the video you know we, we started off we had energy and then as the video has gone on i've just kind of lost i've lost my mojo but um yeah it's just this palette like it was i was trying to be positive at first and i was trying to just be like oh Lavender shade, it's very light, tough to kind of formulate it. But then when we got on to like, you know, the deeper shades and when they just weren't working, I was just like, oh, what the feck? You know what I mean? Life's too short for this. I'm going to take off these. I don't know why I still have them on, honestly. So they're coming off. Okay, so this is the look. Oh, I just can't get over how shitty it looks over here, but... Anyway, okay, so we're going to go under the eye next, and I'm just going to use 
probably the purple because that was the only shade we could see up above. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi, Mum. Hey, gorgeous. Are you okay, sweet pie? What do you think of my eye look today, bud? To give your honest thoughts, you won't hurt Mummy's feelings. Four. Four out, out of ten? Out of one hundred. <laughs> this is the worst look I've ever done. Ever. Ever. It's a catastrophe today. Is this Should I tell you why it's rubbish? Yes, tell me why it's rubbish. Because you've just done the same thing on each other. But that's what I normally do. Oh. I think it's rubbish because there's no pigmentation to the shades. There's no pigment. Could you believe I've used about eight different shades on my eyes? Or does it look like I've just used one? Only one of the same. But you just dipped in it something else. That's right, yes. You always need big, big earrings. Well, why not? <laughs> anyway, guys. So, I mean, this is kind of like the finished look the finale i'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner some mascara and then um, we can just see how terrible it looks then just to show everyone what you did so far oh so nice yeah it does not look great oh. join the club alex mm -hmm. see what do you think because you've tried out a lot of my eyeshadow palettes at this point is this one on par with the others? Like, what do you think? Mm -hmm. It's very patchy. Very patchy, me. I'm going to copy what you have done. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I could have just gone in with my finger like that too. Oh, it's looking very similar to what I've done. Oh, they're beautiful, Ali. You've done a really good job there. In only about 40 seconds, that took me an hour. Them. Okay, twins! <laughs> Twinnies! I you look the best. You? Oh, of course. Pink. I look spooky. <laughs> oh, buddy, that is a good look, that. That's why I'm scary. Right, go on, sweetie, though. I've got to finish my rest of my go house. scary. Go scare Dad and Alex downstairs. Go and go show I them. I didn't say Dad and Go Alex. down. Don't say a word. See the reaction. That'll be fun. Okay, so I have finished off the rest of the makeup and I did the typical YouTuber trick of when you're not so happy with your eye makeup, you just bang on some falsies. So that's exactly what I did today. And I actually prefer the eye look a lot more because it's hidden away. So unfortunately, this palette, she was not for me. I just was very disappointed with the quality of the shadows but I can't say I'm not 100% surprised because there's 72 different shades within this palette and even though the the pans are like really quite small there's still like there's a lot going on in this palette and I just think that it would be kind of naive in a way to expect that the quality was just going to be fantastic when there's so many different shades crammed in I am a little bit disappointed though I I just know that you can do you can do I almost said you can do instead of you can be I just know that you can be can do a lot better than this and I kind of think that it just it doesn't let them down releasing a underwhelming product like this but I just think that it's a shame because there might be some people out there who have not tried any other you can be products before and then they spot this one and they think oh my gosh that looks so good so they go ahead and buy it and then it turns out to be shit and then they then don't buy any more you can be products because they just tar all the other products with the same brush and think that they all must be shit which I've done in the past where I've tried like one product by brand and it's been terrible and I won't go near that brand again because I'll just have like a, had a bad experience with it so I just feel like you know you can be should put more emphasis on a quality of quantity uh this palette is a lot and unfortunately just the quality of this shadow just 
were quite disappointing. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend her. And um, I just didn't have much fun using her today, honestly. And I always have fun filming videos, but I could just feel like I was just a bit bored with the palette, honestly. And it's rare that I actually feel that way when it comes to makeup. So, you know, as much as I appreciate you can be sending this to me to try, I in no way can recommend this to anyone. Anyway, I really, really appreciate you watching the video and I do hope that this was helpful or just of some use to you if maybe you were eyeing up this palette or you were just interested to see what it was like. I hope that I've maybe saved you 10 of your hard-earned pounds here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, so this is me the next day. And I know that I look extremely kind of weirdly shiny at the moment. I've just done my evening skincare, but I've just edited the video and I'm just full of questions. Do you think I was unfair to this palette? Because do you know what? I actually really ended up liking the eye look after the video when I just took some selfies, I did a little bit of a cringy photo shoot. I actually really enjoyed the look. I thought it actually looked nice. And I, it just made me think, was I annoyed at the palette? Like, did I have something internally, like a conflict with the palette? Was I getting stressed because I felt like the lighting wasn't very good? And as I was filming and looking at the eyeshadow in my camera, it looked terrible. And I think over the course of the video, I I was just getting kind of frustrated and stressed about it and I kind of think that that made me maybe extra crit critical of the palette so I'm not quite sure like is the palette bad and I also I do want to put like call myself out that I actually only tried like eight or so of these shadows and there's 76 so I've only tried maybe like I can't work out percentages. I tried and then my brain just, it just, it seemed to die. It just lost power. But I've only tried like only like maybe 15% of this palette. What I'm trying to say is right, okay, because I just want to get your feedback. Would you like me to try this palette again and try different shades? You're basically right, let me tell you this. So I live in Manchester and it's raining and it's grey and it's cloudy all year long. But... On the day I was filming, it was a really sunny, bright day outside, and I think that's why in my viewfinder thing, I looked like it looked really dark in here, but I think it was because it was just a, lot, a light day. So I've learned my lesson now, and I'm thinking I need to try this palette again. I need to give her a second chance. We need a sequel. And I know that sequels are never as good as the prequel. Is that the word? I don't know, but I just, I, I kind of feel like I need to try the palette again to give it a fair judgment and another go what do you think guys could you let me know i'd be really keen to know your feedback like what did you think when you were looking at the shadows going on and blending and i just think that i had to use a lot of the shadows to like get to where i was going and it just definitely was not the standard of eyeshadow quality i've come to expect and enjoy from you can be so it seemed like a bit of a departure from that but then again I could also see that I was getting anxious about the lighting situation that I kind of made up in my mind I'm kind of like conflicted all I want to do is give honest reviews of any products that I try and I want to be fair to the brands at the same time and I've had a collaboration with you can be I love you can be and I give it I have given their products negative reviews in the past and I think you know what really sums them up as being a great brand is that they keep sending me products even though I've given them negative reviews in the past they appreciate the feedback and the honesty and they don't take it personally so I'm in no way bothered about giving a negative review when it's deserved but I'm just questioning like was this palette actually good because I don't know guys I like the I actually like the finished eye look once I stopped filming and looked at the selfies later that day anyway guys I, you can see I'm conflicted and I could sit here for the next hour and just 
divulge all my internal conflict. I'm not going to do that, but I would really appreciate your feedback. So if you could let me know, do you think I need to try this palette again? Or do you think, no, actually, Almanator, I think it was it was a fair review based on what we saw. Okay, so thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'll uh, check out the comment section. Please don't be mean. I know you're never mean, but if there's a lurker lurking by, don't be mean. And my lips have gone down now, so you can't be mean about my lips. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, are we in a business meeting or something? Thank you for your time today. But anyway, I'm going to sign out in the way that I sign out all of my online meetings, which is, okay, bye!